Now to an original report. Take a look at this. A danger lurking high above a busy intersection on the northwest side. We found this traffic light pole leaning over at Addison and Pulaski. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli is live at that intersection. Vince. Good evening, Erica. At first glance, you should be able to see that the pole is standing straight again and that the situation has been rectified. But I want to show you some video now. Within an hour of our calls to the City Department of Transportation, crews were out here repairing the damage. And in spite of the fact that hundreds of cars can pass through this intersection on any given hour, the city insists no one tried to report the problem before CBS 2. With a heavy stoplight and pole leaning against it, they're saying, oh, thank heaven for the 7-Eleven and quality auto repair signs. It's a tragedy, actually. Uh, tra actually, a tragedy waiting to happen. This is the rather busy corner of Addison and Pulaski, with vehicles and pedestrians continually passing beneath. People stand probably lean on it every day, so it's only a matter of time before it comes down, hurts somebody. The visibly rusty pole sits atop a crumbling concrete base just inches away from traffic. Obviously, the city of Chicago needs to obviously step up with taking a look at the uh, infrastructure around here. This light pole, which is clearly corroded at the base, fell over. For several years now, the two investigators have been documenting a similar problem with Chicago's faulty light poles. In 2016, a teen suffered a broken leg and a 13-year-old spine was fractured in 2007. Both, walking from school, had faulty poles fall on them. In January, the two investigators documented 10,000 complaints to 311 for fallen or leaning poles since the year 2015. It's very hard to turn big truck over here. Joe Icho says from his auto repair shop, he's witnessed trucks often hitting the stoplight on Addison and driving off. Though city crews responded quickly to our calls, neighbors say trucks just keep on going, even if they've made contact with the stoplight. Eric, I want to give our viewers now a closer look at some of the repairs. Uh, as you can see, if you come down here, the pole was painted. It was rebolted into the concrete. Uh, this uh, crumbling concrete is still there, but there's stronger concrete underneath. Spoke to a lot of people in this neighborhood. They say they notice trucks hitting this pole all the time. But when you ask people, did they bother to report it to the city? Most folks said no. And if you don't report something like this to the city, it can't be repaired. And if any damages are caused, according to the city law department, the city's not liable. Reporting live from the northwest side, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News. Okay, good to see that fixed now. Thank you, Vince.